My name is Tina Bartleson and I'm director of the Exchange Club Family Resource Center. And I'm Dr. Hinara Sumino, Harvard Pediatrics and Pediatric Cardiology. I am really glad to be meeting with you today to talk a little bit about Child Abuse Prevention Month as well as the Family Resource Center. You know, April is Child Abuse Prevention Month and what that month is about is highlighting the needs that families have. We know that parents need support and information to raise their children in the best way that they can. And I think pediatricians have a really important role in that and uh, support agencies like ours do as well. Um, the Family Resource Center has been around for 30 years now and as you know, we go into the homes of families providing information on parenting, child development, we give tips on how they can help their children succeed in school. For parents who have younger children, we're helping them with things like getting that child on a schedule, potty yeah. training, you know, all of those little things that um, there's, no, there's no real good instruction manual on, you know, you need some extra support for all that. Um, and we're oftentimes visiting in the offices with pediatricians too, and we just appreciate the support that you give to our families. Well, thank you very much, Tina. Yeah, uh, it sounds very familiar, helping with potty training. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think it's a great partnership um, because especially in times like these when there are a lot of stresses out there, um, we're sort of exchanging, you know, the infections and colds and things like that for stressors like, you know, being at home and the frustration. So it's wonderful uh, partnering up with um, the exchange program. Um, this is a, a, a particularly, has been a particularly trying time. And um, as a person that um, really loves and enjoys children and families, it, it's a, a great natural partnership to help people not just survive the family dynamics, but flourish. Um, to encourage people to take that time where uh, we can sort of separate ourselves from uh, the, the, the distractions of the world and really focusing in and honing in on children um, and families. And um, I think that that's what we as pediatricians enjoy helping with. Um, so instead of just thinking of uh, your pediatricians and someone that gives shots and antibiotics, thinking of pediatricians like with your program as a resource to help maneuver the non-instruction manual way to, to thrive in families. Um, and two key things of that uh, I think is uh, uh, reminding uh, parents and caregivers, whether they're uncles, aunts, or um, employees, to remember to take care of themselves because it, it usually is when um, the caregiver is sleep deprived and hungry and the babies are sleep deprived and hungry where they tend to clash and forget um, how wonderful that experience could be. Um, the classic problem is potty training and toddlers. I think uh, toddlers get a very bad reputation, you know, the, the, the terrible twos. I love toddlers, especially the two-year-olds, so uh, I'm trying to push to change them to the terrific twos. Um, because when you understand that these are little kids that are wanting to learn so much and do so much, a lot of times when they throw down and, and pitch a tantrum, it's nothing personal like a vendetta for their caregivers, but um, just trying to, to learn as quickly as possible. So to have resources like the exchange program and, and pediatricians to say, take a deep breath, know that um, they need help as much as you do. So um, uh, sort of intervening before the full-on meltdown really um, helps cut through some of that frustration and brings back to the joy of, of playing and bonding. Right, and I love that you know when our parents come to see you or, or someone here at Harbin Pediatrics that they can, they're getting that good medical information, they're, they're finding out what their children need health-wise, and they're getting parenting information. You know, um, I can relate when I had my children, when they were all small, you know, you gather all that information in and then you leave, and then how do you put it into action? And I think that's where the Family Resource Center can come in 
and just provide some of that supplementary information mm -hmm. after they leave your office, reinforcing what you said, reminding about some of the tips they've received here, but then just having a coach, a partner to walk with you as a parent uh, as, as folks are putting those tips into action. Because what we see is that a lot of parents feel really isolated and alone, and then when their parents are hitting some of those developmental milestones and kids are going through changes, it just gets really stressful. And that's when parents get overwhelmed and um, you know sometimes things happen we don't want to happen as parents. And so having extra support, there's no shame in that and I think it's uh, we want all parents to let us surround you um, with support so that your children can be the best they can. Exactly I agree Tina and it's a, it's a again kudos to the the resource center because a lot of times there are um, those you know those family dynamics that prevent getting that help um, and a family resource center is a wonderful way of having non-partial, non-judgmental, non-family members um, help you with all that. Just someone to, to lend a, 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 an ear and, and to help you through, uh, sort of coach especially the, the younger um, parents through the trying times such as these. That's right. And it's easy to connect with you guys. I think it's easy to connect with us too. Folks can just give us a call at 706-290-0764 or visit our website at frcrome.org and uh, we'll be glad to talk with folks. We can give them um, information about our program and we don't charge anything for our services. So we're, we're pretty good value. <laughs> You know, connecting with families with the weekly uh, support service and um, yeah, we're just glad to be here in Walmart Ford County. A great service to our community. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. You are too. <laughs>